Maryland native Eric Thompson's baseball memorabilia collection is impressive to say the least. Sometimes I'm overwhelmed by how much there is. There's so much. And, and it wasn't specific to just baseball cards. It was autographed baseballs, game used equipment, jerseys, bats, um, lots and lots of balls. In the mid-90s, Thompson and his son began collecting autographed baseball cards. Over the years, the pair has sent out roughly 2,000 cards with return envelopes to players. Anyone with anything to do with the Cleveland Indians was at the top of our list. We chose the all-stars from other teams and the big names, but with Cleveland, it was, it was anybody that wore the uniform. Back in 1996, they sent out a card to former Cleveland Indian Rich Yet. When Thompson and his son didn't receive anything back after a few months, they assumed they would never see the card again. Normally they were a quick turnaround. If they would sign the card, stick it back in the envelope that we provided and send it back to us. If, if, if it wasn't done right away, it wasn't done at all. I would imagine most of them just went right to the trash. But last fall, an envelope was delivered to Thompson's house. Inside was the Rich Yet card. 25 years later and the card was in perfect condition and signed. The card has been on my desk for, for the, since I got it and I look at it and I wonder what possessed a guy to wait 27 years to send a card back to me? What happened in that two and a half decades to this card? Thompson has not been able to reach yet or anyone from the Guardian's front office for an explanation. Thompson says he isn't holding out hope for any other cards to show up at his house. Well, I check the mail every day. Maybe there's more coming. Um, no, I, I still assume that the rest of them were thrown right in the trash.